Kumusta muli? Tayo ngayon ay nasa week 6 na may pamagat na multi-step problem solving involving whole numbers and decimal numbers. Simulan na natin for learning task number 1, enumerate the four steps in solving simple problems. Para sa si step 1, understand the problem. Kasama dyan ang what is asked and given facts. For step 2, you need to plan what operation are you going to use and the number sentence for step 3 solve your solution and the complete answer and for step 4 you need to check if your answer will satisfy the problem Learning task number 2. Solve the given problems. Use the steps in solving word problems. A hidden question should be incorporated in your answer. For problem number 2, in your module, Lucy earns 1,525 pesos a week. She sets aside 15% of this for savings. How much does she saved in a year. In one year equals 52 weeks. To solve the problem, ito ang first step in solving word problems. First step, understand. Second step, plan. Third step, solve. And last, check. What is asked in the problem? The amount of savings in a year. Hidden question. Bago natin masagot ang the amount of saving in a year, kailangan muna nating masagot ang nakatagong tanong na ito. Ito ay ang the amount of savings in a week. Given facts, 1,525 pesos in a week, 15% equals 0 0.15 1 year equals 52 weeks Operations to be used Multiplication and another multiplication For the number sentence The product of 1,525 and 0 0.15 times 52 equals n. For solution, isolve muna natin ang nasa parenthesis at yan ay ang the amount of savings in a week. 1,525 pesos times 15% or 0 0.15 multiply natin ang multiplier ang digit 5 that is the first partial product. I multiply ang 1. That is the second partial product. I multiply ang 0. That is the third partial product. Then, i-add lahat ang 3 partial products. Para sa decimal point, ang ating multiplikan ay 0 decimal place. Ang multiplier ay 2 decimal places, kaya naman ang ating product ay 2 decimal places. Sa sagot na 228 pesos and 75 centavos, i-multiply naman natin ang 52 weeks. I-multiply ang 2, i-multiply ang 5, then i-add ang dalawang 2 partial products. 
para sa decimal point, ang ating multiplikan ay 2 decimal places, ang multiplier ay 0 decimal place, at syempre, ang ating product ay 2 decimal places. Kaya naman, ang ating sagot ay 11,895 pesos. That is amount of savings in a year. To check, yung 228 pesos and 75 centavos i-multiply sa 52, ang product natin kanina ay 11,895. Para ma-check natin, balik na rin natin yung product gawin natin dividend at ang 52 ang magiging divisor. Pag dinivide natin, ang magiging quotient natin ay 228 pesos and 75 centavos. Mapapansin nyo, pareho siya ng ating multiplikan kanina. Ibig sabihin, ang sagot natin ay tama. For learning task 3, solve the given problems using the four step in solving word problems. A hidden question should be incorporated in your answer. For problem number 3 in your module, Mr. Paron sells fruits in the market. Banana costs 25 pesos per kilogram and grapes cost 180 pesos per kilogram. A customer bought 5.25 kilograms of banana and 3.75 kilograms of grapes. How much will the customer pay? To begin with, kailangan natin ang four steps in solving word problems. Step 1, understand the problem. Step 2, plan. Step 3, solve. And step 4, check. What is asked in the problem? The total amount of customer pay. How about hidden question? Ito yung ating in-incorporate. Bago mo masagot ang total amount of customer pay, kailangan mo munang masagot ang nakatagong tanong na to. Ito ay ang amount cost for banana and grapes. Given packs, 25 pesos per kilogram of banana and 180 pesos per kilogram of grapes. 5.25 kilograms and 3.75 kilograms. For operations to be used, multiplication and addition. Para naman sa number sentence, the product of 25 and 5.25 plus the product of 180 and 3.75 equals N. For solution, ilangan kunin muna natin ang halaga para sa banana. 25 pesos times 5.25 kilograms. So, ang naging sagot ay 131 pesos and 25 centavos. Bakit naging ganun ng decimal point? Kasi ang multiplikan na 25 ay 0 decimal place. Ang multiplier ay 2 decimal places. Kaya naman ang product ay 2 decimal places. Yan ang cost for banana. How about cost for grapes? Multiply naman natin ang 180 times 3.75. Yan ang naging sagot. Bakit ganun ang naging decimal point? 
Kasi ang 180 ay 0 decimal place. Ang multiplier ay 2 decimal places. Kaya naman ang ating product ay 2 decimal places. So, ang 675 pesos ay cost for grapes. Pagsasamayin natin ang cost for banana and grapes. So, 131 pesos and 25 centavos plus 675 pesos equals 806 pesos and 25 centavos. Kaya naman ang ating sagot ay 806 pesos and 25 centavos that is amount of customer pay. To check Yung ating sagot sa addition na total na 806.25 balik ta rin natin para ma-check natin 806.25 minus 675 equals 131.25 Okay, ibig sabihin yung sagot natin na 806.25 is correct. Learning task number 4. Create a simple problem using the given data. Solve and write your answer in your notebook. Para sa item number 1 sa inyong module, ito ang given data. 80 pineapples at 15 pesos and 25 centavos each. 3 pineapple got rotten, sold the rest at 20 pesos each, and the amount of gain. Sa pag-create ng simple problem, dapat ang mga given data ay makikita sa loob ng inyong ginawang problem. Ito ang aking example. Aling Betty bought 80 pineapples at 15 pesos and 25 centavos each. Three of them got rotten. She sold the rest at 20 pesos each. How much did she gain from the selling the pineapples? Ang mga given data ba ay nasa loob ng aking ginawang word problem? Check natin. Okay, lahat ay nasa loob ang ating mga given data. For solution, 15 pesos and 25 centavos i-multiply natin sa 80 pineapples para malaman natin magkano ang bili ni Aling Betty sa 80 na pineapples. Ito ang halaga ng kanyang Biniling 80 pineapples. 80 minus 3, ito ang matitira na kanyang naibenta. 77. Ang 77 naman ay multiply natin sa 20 pesos. Para malaman natin ilan ang kanyang naipagbili. 20 times 77 is 1,540. Ito naman ang kanyang napagbentahan. Para malaman natin kung ilan ang kanyang kinita, 1,540 minus 1,220 equals 320. 320 pesos, yan ang kanyang Kinita. Maraming salamat muli sa inyong panonood. Don't forget to subscribe.